Hi, I'm Jackie Wicks, founder of Peer Trainer, and I'm here with Dr. Joel Furman. He's a board certified family physician and also nutritional research, but he's really best known for his best selling books, Eat to Live, Eat for Health. And it was interesting because we were sitting yesterday and having a conversation, and he made a, a, Senate, a statement that startled me. He said, No pregnant, I think, nursing, menstruating woman should be taking folic acid. And I said, how is that possible? I've always heard that folic acid is that folic acid is actually what keeps your um, pregnancy safe and keeps the baby developing properly. Yeah, the conventional thought is it prevents neural tube defects. But what we're finding out now is, and obviously, folic acid is synthetic. Food doesn't have folic acid; it has folate in it. So folic acid you get from supplements, and folate you get from food. And as a species, we're designed to be eating a high folate diet, rich in green vegetables because green vegetables protect against all types of cancers and assure the health of our baby. And now we're finding out the interesting science that folic acid is related to breast cancer, linked to colon cancer and prostate cancer. Matter of fact, one recent study followed women for 30 years, and those who took a supplement with folic acid during the pregnancy had doubled the risk of breast cancer 30 years later. Now that study was a small study, and maybe the folic acid they gave people was a little extra dose. But there are other studies that also link folic acid consumption to breast cancer, significant increase in prostate cancer, and believe it or not, we're finding out that when you take folic acid during pregnancy, the children are at higher risk of asthma and higher risk of increased respiratory infections. And while folate has the opposite effect, eating green vegetables reduce the risk of childhood cancers and protect the child against infections and asthma when the mother eats healthy, and even ADHD, you know, when you eat green vegetables. Right, right, right. The point is, the message women should have gotten years ago are that green vegetables are essential for human health. And they're especially essential during pregnancy to assure a normal outcome. And you know, with the recent studies now, the, the, prop, the question is, is this um, message about women consuming more folic acid during pregnancy and taking prenatals with folic acid in it, is that responsible for a dramatic increase in childhood cancers? Because now women are dependent on, the med on a, um, a supplement for folic acid and not being told that they should have been eating green vegetables that could have protect not only against neural tube defects, but against childhood cancers as well. So a lot of issues here to discuss. And I think I'm the only person now who are saying, who are coming out and saying, enough is enough. Women should not be taking folic acid. Nobody should. We should be eating a foods rich in folate. And of course, because of that, so it's so important, I've um, come out with a prenatal vitamin called Gentle Prenatal that has no vitamin A, no beta carotene, no folic acid in it, and, you know, natural food-based um, food um, nutrients and, and with the extra selenium, iodine, vitamin D, and zinc people need, but without the folic acid that women shouldn't be getting from supplements. They should be eating food for that. And so, on a typical um, multivitamin, you see folic acid. You know, so that's the same. We're talking folic acid, the thing that we've all picked up a vitamin container and seen. I just want to make sure that nobody's confused because we've seen it a whole well, lot. Well, if you pick up a vitamin, a multivitamin or a prenatal, it says folate. It's not folate, it's folic acid. Mm. Folic acid is synthetic, it's not natural. So they write the word folate in place of folic acid sometimes. So I'm saying, nevertheless, whether it's folate or folic acid, if it's in a vitamin, you could be sure it's folic acid and synthetic, and it's not, harm, and it's not helpful to do that. You so, um, so, I mean, women are like saying, what? You know, this is crazy. But of course, what, what we do in America is crazy. We come up with a pill solution to everything. And the pills often cause more problems then if we never had high blood pressure medication, doctors would be forced to tell people to eat better, cut salt out, exercise, lose weight, they'd be forced to reverse the high blood pressure. The pills are a permission slip to just do everything that's not proper, not a proper